today, white on white on white. This is the mini wideout edition where we don't feature any bags, just the gear in my actual pockets. So let's check it out. So let's start out with one of my most favorite finds this year. This is the Nike reversible bomber jacket. With fall season coming, you bet this baby is keeping me warm. It's got a white and black chevron pattern on one side, but wait for it. Yes, it's an all blacked out colorway on the other end, even with a blacked out embroidered logo. But this is a whiteout video, so squiddly do. Let's start with our first item actually on my head. This is a collaboration champion and Urban Outfitters exclusive baseball hat. Made of a cotton twill, it's your standard six panel baseball cap design with the trademark over curved bill on the front but it's got some really sleek details like the adjustable leather strap back which gives it that finesse and of course that thick embroidered champion logo plastered on the front it's minimal comfortable and most importantly a wicked white hat with a nice black contrast so you don't stand out like a sore thumb now moving into the first jacket pocket though let's talk phone because the whole premise of this video started with this the new all-white iphone 11 wrapped in a rhino shield crash guard nx case and accessorized with this sparkly pop socket attached to its backside. Now taking a look at the case first, we've covered this many, many times in the past, and I consistently recommend it thanks to this hexagon pattern interior. This is their shock spread technology, which if you haven't seen, has been able to withstand this. It's also got a matte and slightly textured finish for some finger licking goodness, and the whole bumper is just really, really flexible, but it always flips back into shape. Like any bumper style case, it only covers the edges of your phone, which has its pros and cons, with the main benefit being able to show off this beautiful piece of machinery. It's also got some really clicky buttons, proper cutouts, and of course the large opening around back that is, however, raised enough to keep your lenses safe. Though for how little there is to the case, it does make your iPhone feel a little thicker, but for a good reason. It's still manageable thanks to the matte edges, but the case doubles down on bezels around the front and backside given its lack of protection anywhere else, which trust me, you'll be thankful they did. Combined with that honeycomb shock spread goodness, your iPhone will be A-OK. -okay. To some, showing off this Apple is a must and the purest way to do so is with a bumper style case. Do you even own an iPhone if you're unable to actually feel it with your fingers and see the real deal? Come on. And I get it, that's worth the added thickness to some no judgment here but that doesn't mean your tiny hands have to deal with it alone that's where a pop socket comes in now to stick it onto a naked iphone though you will need the added clear sticker they provide but squeeze that sucker on pop it open and say goodbye to those finger cramps not having to reach around the whole phone yet still feeling confident while holding it one-handed is well worth the extra bulge it adds plus just look at how wicked this pearl white colorway is it's part of the luxe lineup it's a little thicker than regular ones and it even has a metal ring around it Ooh fancy pants. Now you can reach around your phone confidently and look stylish to the max with your matching outfit. To complete this whole package though, we gotta cover up the front with my favorite screen protector, the Rhino Shield Impact Protection. Bing bang boom, why is this my favorite you may ask? Because it can handle this, a hammer. It still works, there's no cracks, and the screen protector is still usable. Cha-ching. Now, if you ever really have butterfingers, even if you drop it, you're covered all around. Now, before we move on though, the last reason I prefer Rhino Shield is actually because of their vast levels of customization. That goes from the rim around the backside to even the swappable buttons. And if you're completely not a bumper kind of gal, their solid suitcases has you covered too, even in a full whiteout. Just as protective, and yes, just as customizable with colors, and even some really rad printed designs too. They also just released their new impact skins which is like that hammer proof screw protector around front but for the backside and in some nifty designs too it's a perfect pairing to show off with the crash guard bumper cases too of course i got you discount code for rhino shield gear in the description down below but enough of this, moving on to the next pocket. My wallet of choice goes to the Bellroy card pocket in the alabaster colorway with this clean white leather finish. I featured this wallet before, but in this all white glory, it deserves a rerun. The details on this case is what you're paying for, from the metal logo emblem to the clean stitching and just the all around sophisticated look. It opens with a whole half zip, which reveals the two card slots, a SIM card sleeve for you avid travelers, and that large open space in the center, which fits cards, but also your daily essentials. Everything is secured inside with that half zipper and packs fairly slim for being able to hold up to 15 cards while still allowing you to easily get in and find what you need. This whiteout wallet from Bellroy offers simple organization with a classy look. Now hiding on my wrist isn't a watch but kind of sort of like a personal air conditioner and heater. Yeah all built into this tiny package. This is the Ember Wave. This little guy looks like a cool wristwatch from 2035 but is built like a tank. It's got a metallic Milanese loop band for only the fanciest of 
you out there with a single button input along the top, which controls this back panel to either cool or heat the skin it's touching. It's quite simple to use too. Clicking the left side gives you a cooling effect and the right for a heating effect. To get into more detail though, you connect it to your phone and use the app to control how hot or how cold you want it to get. The app itself is very well laid out. It's like using a thermostat. And they also offer different modes for longer or shorter cooling and heating periods, like say if you're trying to go to sleep. Now I'm not going to try and explain how this all works, but it just does. Ember describes a feeling similar to like rubbing an ice cube on your skin or holding a hot cup of tea. And I'd have to say that's pretty accurate. It gets quite warm, but not to the point it hurts in any way. The idea being if you're constantly too warm, having this to cool you down while sleeping, working out, or stressed at work will affect your overall body temperature. And while it's worked for me on occasion, it's definitely not for everyone, with the main disadvantage being how it gets in the way when you need to work on a keyboard. Otherwise, this is a personal air conditioner on your wrist. A must have if you're a sweat bucket like I am all the time. Now that's it for the jacket pockets. Moving inside though, this all white hard shell Nintendo case. Housing of course, the Nintendo Switch Lite, obviously in an exclusive whiteout colorway. Checking out the case first, designed to keep the console safe. I prefer this simply because it provides just enough protection without being super bulky, which would defeat the whole purpose of the Switch Lite. Soft interior, a whole flap of cartridge slots, and even a netted area for accessories, albeit on the tighter side. It's a good compromise of a case between actual protection and slim design. But I know, this is what you're really eyeing. How did I get an all white Switch Lite when they only come in an odd yellow, blue, and gray? Well, that's all thanks to dbrand. And thank we shall because it doesn't get any sweeter than this. With their precise cutouts, always trusty stickiness to not come off, and leaving just the right accents for the actual Switch Lite to shine through. This is the Switch Lite colorway. I wish they offered out of the box, but thankfully for a few measly dollars, you can customize it yourself thanks to dbrand, who of course offer a full range of designs and colors to go with if you're not a fan of white superiority. But come on, you can't deny how sexy but cute this looks at the same time. So closing shop up top, let's talk about what's hanging on the belt. This combo package is courtesy of Catalyst and Tile, starting with the Catalyst waterproof case for the Apple AirPods. It's made of a thick silicone that they've designed to seal up your AirPods, while at the same time still allowing you to easily access them with a simple peel and reveal by pulling the foreskin back. Basically, they've created a really tight seal by hugging the silicone around the whole case, but they do still offer a kettle plug to charge up without having to remove the case itself. And if you're wondering if it works, yeah. Trust me when I say it does. They include a sturdy metal carabiner to keep it on you at all times, but just in case you do decide to leave it somewhere, that's where this new Tile Pro tracker comes in. Able to attach onto any keychain or clip thanks to its hole punch out, this new design has a smooth finish all around, a much louder ring to its built-in speaker, and yes, that removable battery that lasts up to one year. However, it's the button around front that makes it super useful. Double pressing it allows you to track wherever your drunk self decided to hide your iPhone last night, rated to reach up to 400 feet around you. Of course, it works both ways too. Whatever it's attached to, you can ring up on your iPhone and Combine that with that loud jingle, you'll never lose your AirPods again. This package is designed for the clumsy, forgetful, but just for those who love enjoying their tunes without having to stress about where they left their tiny earphones. Plus with that thick silicone wall, it's a set of armor for your AirPods you can trust to keep them scratch free. Now below that, clip to the pants pocket, my whiteout light of choice from Lumen Top, the Tool AA 2.0. Constructed of a very durable aluminum body with an anodized surface, you can count on this not to fail you. And at the same time, not weighing your pocket down because you you've got enough baggage to carry in your pants. There's a single large rubber button on top, a hard press to turn on with lighter tabs to activate the different modes. Simple and easy to operate. And I prefer the use of AA batteries too, as I don't have to wait for things to charge. I just swap in a new battery whenever I need it. There's even a gasket here, which means yes, this light is actually waterproof too. With an IP68 rating, it can be submerged and used underwater. Plus you can use the tip of the light to spin it on and off for another option of usage. This little guy packs quite a list of features alongside the included metal clip for easy storage. It's a light I trust to just work when I need it to. It's small enough to fit in the palm of my hand as well. And for its last trick up its sleeve, this silicone cover, which helps create a much more diffused light for an impromptu lamp that when turned off in the dark, also glows in the dark. Whoa. The Lumintop Tool AA 2.0 packs a lot of light without breaking the bank. Moving on to our last pocket, on the opposite side, our mini tool of choice, the James Brand Elko knife. This knife is seriously small, made of a fiberglass body, making it also very, very light 
but durable. It measures in at about two and a half inches, smaller than my actual finger, while also holding a stainless steel blade. Perfect for everyday tasks that don't require anything serious and to have a sharp tool on you just in case. Not only that, the end of it has a pry bar tool too. It's great as a scraper tool, which is what I usually use it for, but also as a flathead screw with the hole inside doubling as a keychain loop. It's durable, easy to carry, and most importantly, not threatening whatsoever to have on you. A tool to keep you ready for those everyday repairs. Lastly, this is something we've featured previously, but now in a smaller and wider package. This is a Zippo hand warmer with a 6 hour duration down from the 12 hours of its bigger brother. With the main benefit of being how small it is now, still made of a metallic frame, this guy runs on lighter fluid that instead of creating an open flame, it slowly burns to create a warming effect which feels amazing in cold Canadian winters. And once you start burning, this baby keeps those fingers toasty and will be the only reason any girl will ever hold your hand. It's durable so you can trust it to last over several winters and you can pop it into its included pouch so it's just this soft little package you hold on to. But that is it, my mini whiteout collection. If you really love the Stormtrooper vibes, this is for you but I also hope this gives you some ideas to brighten up your EDC collection. As always, links and discount codes in the description box down below. But that's it. Let me know in the comments what theme you'd like to see next. I rest my case.